His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in Russia on a visit for talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The talks are focused on bilateral relations and ways of enhancing joint cooperation in all fields, in addition to the regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was welcomed at the airport by the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister, senior Russian officials, Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, the Russian ambassador to Bahrain, and members of Bahrain's embassy in Russia. Kommersant Russian Press, one of the widely read papers in Russia, issued an article today focusing on the important visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Russian Federation and his expected talks with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. The article highlighted that the visit by His Majesty the King reflects the growing bilateral relations between Bahrain and Russia and the keen desire of both leaderships to develop such relations in various fields for the interests of the two nations. The article also highlighted the major accomplishments made by the Kingdom of Bahrain and the prosperity the Kingdom has witnessed since His Majesty's accession to the throne in Bahrain. The paper also lauded the National Action Charter and the reform project launched by His Majesty the King. The paper affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made a great historic step which enhanced its position regionally and internationally and has taken leading steps towards political modernization, development and consolidate, to consolidating constitutional institutions. It went further to point out that Bahrain is successfully moving forward in its national march under the leadership of His Majesty the King towards further progress and prosperity amid the achievements the country has made at various fields including economic and cultural development as well as growth where Bahrain has become a role model within its regional and Arab sphere. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Ghdaybiya Palace today with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has affirmed the importance of the visits His Majesty the King conducts to different countries in order to enhance Bahrain's cooperation to achieve mutual interests. They said it reflects Bahrain's understanding that all security and economic challenges facing the region can only be dealt with through cooperation and coordination with brotherly and friendly countries. The meeting also reviewed issues related to supporting the revenues of the state's general budget to serve the government's approach towards development. They discussed several initiatives that aim to develop human resources of government bodies in order to improve governmental services and procedures. The Royal Highness has noted the importance of gatherings and forms that support governmental approach towards developing its performance in all fields. They expressed full support to all meetings that aim to develop governmental staff and achieve the government's developmental and economic visions that aims to upgrade the living standards of the people. The Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Ghdaybiya Palace a Chinese delegation led by the mayor of the Chinese city of Shenzhen, Mr. Zhu King. The delegation is on an official visit to the kingdom where they will organize the Bahrain Shenzhen Business Forum. The meeting discussed issues of common interest including reinforcing investment opportunities between the two countries. His Royal Highness confirmed Bahrain's continuous work to reinforce the economic environment and diversify sources of income to achieve the desired goals of sustainable development and strengthen the role of the private sector as a crucial partner in the economy. He pointed out that Bahrain has adopted competitiveness as an indicator for the economy, which has turned the kingdom into an important hub for economic activities of foreign companies. He added that this encourages investment and consolidates the advancement of national economy. His Royal Highness highlighted uh, signing many economic memorandums of understanding and agreements with Asian countries and expanding 
expanding commercial relations with China and openness to external markets, which will serve the development of Bahrain's economy. The deputy of His Majesty noted the development in Bahrain-Chinese relations, which embodies the historic friendship between the two countries, and stated that it contributed in reinforcing mutual cooperation and coordination. He said exchanging visits at all levels contribute to strengthening cooperation between the two countries in the economic and commercial links. For his part, Mr. King expressed thanks for His Royal Highness's interest in enhancing bilateral relations in all sectors, which will contribute in developing both countries' economies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today a Chinese delegation led by Mayor of the Chinese city of Shenzhen who is visiting the country to review investment cooperation opportunities. His Royal Highness has stressed that Bahrain welcomes Chinese investments and supports all efforts that reinforce commercial and economic cooperation between Bahrain and China. He also ensured that Bahrain places great importance on expanding mutual cooperation between the two countries in all fields, noting that there are a lot of opportunities that could be taken to strengthen the economical, political and cultural relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness commended the significant growth of the Bahraini-Chinese cooperation under the care of both countries' leaderships. He also highlighted the importance of such visits in reinforcing coordination through introducing more initiatives that encourage the private sector to take investment opportunities. Mayor King thanked the Prime Minister for his continuous efforts to strengthen cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness is the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of MPs and senior state officials in the presence of former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa Al Zahrani. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of Bahraini women in society and the efficiency they demonstrated in political, economical and legal fields. He stressed the need for a concerted efforts between the constitutional institutions to pass legislations aimed at boosting the role of Bahraini women and safeguarding their rights in line with Sharia principles. His Royal Highness also stressed uh, that the government places great importance on providing uh, decent living conditions for the citizens through developing the services provided to them in the health, educational, housing and social fields. He highlighted the sound legislative foundation established uh, by the kingdom which helps protect human rights. Addressing Arab affairs, His Royal Highness has stressed on uh, the importance of keeping discussions regarding Arab affairs between Arabs themselves, saying that no one cares about the best interests of Arabs more than Arabs themselves. He said the challenges and conspiracies against the Arab nations are massive and come in different ways in order to distribute the stability, disrupt the stability of Arab countries, pointing out that unity is the best way that helps face these challenges. He also called to shun differences and stick to unity to bolster the Arab presence in international gatherings and deter attempts to tamper with regional security.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khaifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghazibiya Palace. He expressed good wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and to the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the upcoming Eid Al Adha, wishing the kingdom, its people, the wise leadership and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He also wished pilgrims success in performing Hajj, praising the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, in providing services for pilgrims. His Royal Highness uh, then extended good wishes uh, for students on the start of the new academic year, wishing them success. He directed the Education Ministry and academic and administrative bodies to exert more efforts to achieve the government aspirations to develop the level of education through initiatives, training, and curriculum improvement. He called uh, to exert more efforts to open more classes for people with special needs and called for encouraging investment in private education to provide high quality services. He stressed the importance of attracting more higher education institutions in cooperation with international universities to enhance local capabilities. The education minister briefed the meeting on administrative, technical and human resources preparations to receive students for the new academic year and measures taken to develop the curriculum. His Royal Highness then directed the housing minister to see the housing needs of the people of Sanabis, Blad al Qadim, and Zinj, and directed to study to study of the allocation of the remaining part of Tubli housing project for the people of that area. He hailed the role of charitable funds and societies for the humanitarian work and directed the Minister of Labor and Social Development to write down a report on the charitable funds and societies' achievements. He also directed for another report on the achievements of the Zakat Fund and details on the dispersed funds. The Cabinet approved the amendments of services provided by the Civil Aviation Affairs, including a meteorological services license to practice activities, airport services fees and departure. They directed concerned bodies to exert more efforts to facilitate the procedures for obtaining licenses that support urban investments and enhance or enhancing the government efforts to attract such investments. The Prime Minister directed to provide facilities for municipal councils and to coordinate with them in order to provide services of high quality for citizens and residents. The Cabinet reviewed recommendations and resolutions from municipal councils. The Prime Minister then directed to execute more programs and activities that attract youth and help them gain more skills and talents. The Cabinet discussed a report from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs regarding summer activities for youth and sports sector in 2016. The Cabinet also approved three proposals from the Representatives Council, the first regarding banning trucks and tankers from using roads during specific hours, the second is about providing more Wi-Fi services in public places, and the third regarding uh, completing Prince Saud Al Faisal Avenue project. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulates His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier on Bahrain National Youth Team winning the Asian Championship for the first time in its history by beating the Japanese team. He added that such wins reflect the support the sports movement is receiving from the wise leadership. His Highness Sheikh Nasser that such wins uh, came as a result of proper planning that the Bahrain Handball Association has made and who has worked towards executing the appropriate strategy. His Highness commended the national junior team for winning first place in the championship, affirming that this achievement is the fruit of the Bahrain Federation for basketball's right planning. His Highness expressed his pride in the efforts demonstrated by the team players and their keenness in giving an excellent performance, which has helped realize the positive Asian athletic outcome. He commended the powerful demonstrations of the players which has given a very positive image of Bahrain and affirmed that winning first place reflects Bahrain's status. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the 7th Asian Men's Youth Handball Championship final match, which was held yesterday at Khalifa Sports City Hall. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned Bahraini's junior team with the title of the championship after defeat 
beating the Japanese team with the result of 23 to 25 in a match that was filled with excitement. Bahrain's team delivered an outstanding performance and achieved the first position to win the Asian Cup. His Highness crowned the Japanese team with the second position medal. His Highness Sheikh Khad congratulated the wise leadership as well as His Highness Nasser, His Nasser, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, Bahrain Handball Association member and handball fans on the occasion of Bahrain junior team achieving the continental title of the championship, which was hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain from August 27th to September 5th. Bahrain junior team has qualified to the handball, handball World Cup, which will be held in Tbilisi, Georgia next year. His Highness Sheikh Khalil congratulated president and members of the association and fans of the sports on the occasion of Bahrain junior team achieving first position and qualifying to the World Cup, which will be held in Georgia. His Highness highlighted that this achievement reflects the constant support given by the Bahrain Olympic Committee under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also noted the efforts of the Bahrain Handball Association in preparing plans and programs that include the talent of the youth and refines them, those ensuring the development of local competitions. His Highness praised the full national team for raising the name of the kingdom and achieving results in various sports. The Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid Mohammed Al Khalifa, congratulated the team of Safras for winning the fourth Youth Central's Futsal League of His Highness under the theme Generations Form. The league was organized by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport from the 8th of August till the 5th of September. His Highness also congratulated the Deaf team for winning the first league for people with disabilities and affirmed that both teams have earned it due to their pers persistent efforts. This came during the crowning of the winning teams, which took place in the Bahrain and Disabled Sports Federation's Hall in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Hisham al Joder, sponsors, sports union heads and officials. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that uh, Safra's team is considered one of the strong and special teams that had participated in, in His Highness's previous league and their uh, perseverance manifested in winning this year's league. He also commented their remarkable efforts against the team of Zalag and uh, praised the efforts of the team's technical and administrative bodies. His Highness also commended the noteworthy efforts of the team of Zalag and wished the team's success in the upcoming leagues. His Highness said that the directives to hold a league for people with disabilities came under the wise guidance of the leadership which has always been keen on caring for this group as they are an inseparable segment of society. He added that the success of the league for people with disabilities is an indicator of STYS's success in attracting teams and he concluded by commending the audience that witnessed the competition of this event.
The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the important conclusion and results reached during discussions on the issue of oil between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Russian Federation, alongside the G20 group meeting which was held in China. The Kingdom of Bahrain affirms its full support for the results of the decision which is considered important strategic steps to achieve balance in the oil market. Bahrain asserts on the need for such constructive cooperation and the holding of such meetings and discussions among main oil produces for the purpose of oil market stability and endorsing development efforts the worldwide. The Kingdom of Bahrain values the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Russia and their strive aimed at bringing solutions for the various problems faced by the international community. The Kingdom affirms uh, on uh, the need to exert regional and international efforts for the purpose of ensuring a better future for the countries of the world. Housing Minister Bassam Al-Hamar affirmed that the launching of the smartphone app in partnership with the Information and E-Government Authority comes under the goal of comprehensive updates to the electronic system. He added that the trial period included 25,000 downloads to the new app. He said that this service allows citizens to benefit from the use of its components, providing a housing service, updating the data, managing a maintenance request, and following the news and multimedia, which reflects the success of this experiment. al pointed out uh, that the series of renovating the electronic system, including the relaunching of the website's modern system, with electronic services that make it easier for citizens to provide and follow up on their applications in addition to information security and accuracy.